Stephen Peters scored his second hundred in successive innings as Northamptonshire had the better of the opening day of their LV County Championship fixture with neighbours Leicestershire at Wantage Road. Josh Cobb won the toss and decided to have a ball first on a grassy looking wicket but he was probably regretting his decision before too long as Niall O'Brien and Peters batted throughout the first session with few problems. O'Brien, who was back in the North Ant side after his latest tour of duty with Ireland, soon established his side's grip on this game. By his high standards, Peters has had a rather lean season with the bat, but a 100 in the draw with Yorkshire last week will have given him plenty of confidence. He simply took the form from that game into this one as he batted all day. Leicestershire were perhaps not at their best. They did have half a chance in the morning session, but Ned Eckersley just couldn't hold on to a very difficult flick from O'Brien. The Irishman, not often used at the top of the order for his county, was enjoying this opportunity and struck plenty of boundaries in a session which his side dominated. Matthew Hoggard had left himself out of the Leicestershire side in favour of Robbie Joseph, but none of the visiting attack made the most of the pitch. And so O'Brien eased to his 50 before the interval with a cut off Claude Henderson. He'd needed 81 balls to get there and innings which had included nine fours. He looked in fine form. And he continued that after the break. Overhead conditions have not been kind to batsmen, especially ones facing the new ball this season. And so with the clouds parting and some warm sunshine coming through, now was the time for them to make hay. O'Brien and Peters have put on 126 in 37 overs when they were finally parted by Wayne White, although he will have thanked his wicketkeeper for an outstanding catch behind as O'Brien went for 70. Two balls later, after a long wait to bat, David Sales edged low down to Michael Thornley. Sales waited for the catch to be confirmed and then he was on his way for a duck. Peters, though, was still there and showing no signs of giving his wicket away. His 50 was a time-consuming one, coming off 130 deliveries, but it was really just the start of a knock, which was to put his side in a strong position by the end of this day. At this stage, however, Leicestershire were having a good spell. Shiv Thakor had Alex Wakeley held in the slips by Thornley. And the 18-year-old then trapped Rob Newton in front in his next over to reduce Northamptonshire to 161 for four. All four wickets had fallen for just 35 runs. But the visitors weren't able to take advantage of that in the final session once Andrew Hall came to the crease. He and Peters, two vastly experienced players, began to re-establish their side's grip. Peters is a man blessed with great powers of concentration and those powers are being used now as he neared his second successive century. Watchful for the most part, he also played some very attractive strokes when offered the opportunity. Another cut of Henderson brought him his 12th four to take into his 100 off his 211th delivery. By now he'd been at the crease for just short of five hours. It was a superb effort from a man who won't have given up thoughts of his side earning the promotion they just missed out on last year. The Leicestershire attack, not used to running in under blue skies and warm sunshine, looked a little weary by the end and Hall knew that it was a good time for him and his partner to kick on. Paul brought up his second 50 of the season by stealing a couple of runs off Joseph to a ball which just bounced a little. Hall had been at the crease for 109 balls, six of which he'd struck for four. He'd also batted his side into a dominant position. Having made a rather poor start to the year, North Hants have not given up thoughts of finishing in the top two just yet, with those above them failing to win a number of matches. This game against the bottom team was one they would have signposted as a must-win. The 300 was brought up before the close, but then to the day's final delivery, Hall edged White, the pick of the Leicestershire attack, behind. He was out for 59. But Peters lives on to go again on day two and will be hopeful of adding to the 137 runs he's already secured. With batting still to come, Northamptonshire will hope to advance far more from their first day total of 300 for five.